So, uh, do you do it? <laughs> Fuck, why well, no, you can't, uh, you can't tell me, right? I thought we were friends. No, is that? It's called attorney client privilege. Maybe you've heard about it? Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> So what do you do when you're not, uh, you're not working? You're not defending baddies? Sleep? Wait, what? That's work, sleep, no play? Look, I don't have the energy. I tend to just keep to myself. What about you? I'm sure you don't want to be on the sidelines forever. What's the dream? Dream? Uh, come on. I mean, there's gotta be something. Everything okay? Yeah. Actually, you know, I have a... I haven't really called a set tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, I have like nine pages of dialogue to memorize. Look, if I said something that bothered you or... No. No. It's fine. And what is it? I was 14, we got the second-hand desktop computer. It was pretty beat up. A few of the pixels were dead, and it took forever to boot up. But it was ours. I have four siblings, so computer time was hard to come by. One day, I came home from school, and the place was a ghost town. I checked every room. So, I ran to the computer and, well, you know, started doing my thing. Just when I was about to finish, I realized that I don't have any tissues. So I ran to the bathroom, which is upstairs. I peed super quick. I couldn't have been gone more than two minutes. 
Anyway, when I got back, my mom was standing in front of the computer, clutching her purse really tightly. What did she say? Nothing. The next day, the computer was gone. And you never talked about it. There you go, guys. Ah, thanks. Are we doing food? Uh, yeah, are you, are you hungry? Actually, can I get my bill? Oh, yeah, for sure. Where are you going? I have an early flight. Wait, what? Why? Sure, misconduct. That's all I can say right now. So, what happens now? Any trial isn't for a couple of months, so we regroup and start all over again. Do you need a machine? No, I'm good. Thanks. You know, no one gives a fuck anymore, right? At least not like they used to. Well, I hope the rest of your shit goes well. Fuck, man, will you, will you hold on for a second? It was just sex, right? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Be different. You know, when we're kids, we're told that being different is a good thing, right? You get made fun of at school. You get picked last at gym. You know, the girl you like, she isn't interested, but, uh, but it's okay because you're different. And eventually someone's gonna recognize that. Even love you for it. And then you... You eventually find the courage Within yourself to admit that you are different, but then you're told if you don't change the thing that makes you different, no one will love you. So you do it. You change. So what are you saying exactly? What I'm saying is that I've spent the last 14 years pretending to be somebody that I'm not. And that I've hurt a lot of people. And that I've made a lot of mistakes. And just because I belong to something or a group of people. Do you mean the LGBTQ community? doesn't mean that I immediately feel like I fit in, you know? I, I'm still trying to figure all this out. There's still a lot of red tape to cut through. Red tape? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll save that one for a different interview. Fair enough. And you know what? That's just about all the time we've got left anyway. Sid. On behalf of everyone watching at home, I want to thank you for your honesty. I know this wasn't easy. Thank you.